In today's Your Healthy Family, we're following up on Vic McMillan's story and his battle with skin cancer and the surgical technique he's had 50 plus times now to keep him cancer free. Vic McMillan has a healthy respect for cancer. Let me tell you how scared I am of cancer. My granddad died of cancer. My uncle, two uncles, have died with cancer. My wife died of cancer four years ago. Uh, cancer scares me. Helping Vic through his skin cancer journey is Colorado Springs dermatologist Dr. Brett Matheson, who tells me he's the longest practicing board certified Mohs surgeon in the Springs. Mohs surgery has become the gold standard for skin cancer treatment, especially for cancers that develop on the face. The process of Mohs surgery involves excising a cancer in a series of layers or stages to try to minimize uh, the scar, in other words, spare normal tissue. So we cut very thin margins and check those carefully under the microscope to ensure that all the cancer is clear. The Mohs surgical technique was first developed by Dr. Frederick E. Mohs in the late 1930s and is often used to treat basal cell or squamous cell carcinoma. Mohs surgery is done in the office under local anesthetic, um, so it's very safe. Uh, but it's very precise, a little bit time intensive, but very precise. The cancer is excised layer by layer. Each layer checked under the microscope by the surgeon who acts as the pathologist to ensure that that cancer is clear. Because 100% of the margin is carefully checked while the patient is here in the office, a high cure rate is obtained. According to the Skin Cancer Foundation, Mohs surgery has a skin cancer cure rate of 99%. Basal cell carcinomas can be like an iceberg, small on the surface and larger, deeper down in the skin. The Mohs surgery can produce some shocking looking wounds, but Vic tells me the only painful part of his Mohs surgeries have been the small pinch associated with the local anesthetic. Only the shots, only the lanocaine, and, and fortunately, even with that big scar that I showed you, I take Tylenol for a, for a couple of days and it heals up enough to where there's no pain. The process of removing the least amount of healthy skin means sometimes it takes a few excisions to get all of the cancerous cells. It checks the edges, and when the edges are clear, you're done. And you pay, sew it up or whatever. But if it's not clear, he comes back with his scalpel and cuts some more until it is. The most I've had is five. He's come back five times and that was the most I had. That's only been once. Uh, he seems to like the number three. And that's where the talent of a Mohs surgeon comes into play. While maximizing the removal of all cancerous tissue, even on highly visible places on someone's face or large incisions, Scarring can be difficult to spot once healed. Well, part of my surgical training was not just the removal of the skin cancer, but the reconstructive techniques afterwards to sew things up so that the scar disappears in normal tension lines, so that the scar becomes almost invisible when possible. When necessary, I perform flaps or grafts or complex reconstruction, but most of the time wounds can be closed in a straight, thin little line or even be allowed to heal in by mother nature. The skin is a beautiful organ. It heals beautifully. So initially a patient may be rather surprised at the size of the wound necessary to clear that cancer. But with proper surgical technique and the closure of that wound, usually things heal really well. For your healthy family and Myra Cronin, for more health stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.